enterprises and greening workshop, uh, business training workshop, which commences today and I think runs all, all this week. And uh, I just want to acknowledge our partners, the International Labour Organization, represented, I think, by Mr. Satoli. Yes. Mr. Satoli and um, Mr. Chinetti. Uh, we, we're grateful for your continued support for the efforts that we are making as a city. That, uh, that synergy, that interaction is, is very important because um, not only do we need the resources that you provide, but we need the experience and the perspectives that, that you uh, give us here. As we sit here on the sixth floor and we look across there to the industrial sites, we know that Sadly, um, many of Bulawayo's large industries are now closed. And one of the challenges that we face is to get those industries working again. And that may seem to be an irrelevant comment in the con context of SMEs, but I believe that the two work together. There needs to be that synergy. I want us to think ahead as we hopefully attract investment into our city and get these industries going. I see SMEs as being a critical component of that. On Thursday, um, some of you know that I, I went to Makokoba uh, Market. It's a very old market here. I'm sure many of you are aware of it. Uh, I had not been there for probably decades, but I was amazed walking around Makakoba by the resilience, by the innovation, by the brilliance of some of our SMEs who are constructing, for example, wheelbarrows, wheelbarrows that are stronger than the wheelbarrows made by some of our factories. Uh, these magnificent hoes that they're making. Um, mining buckets made out of uh, tires, used tires. Uh, very strongly con constructed. And shoes and all sorts of, of other um, items. And it was a reminder to me of the, as I say, I use that word again, brilliance. The innovation that uh, many of our talented people have in the city and right across our nation. They're not in formal employment. They're not working for big companies. They're working for themselves. But they can play a critical role as we develop our larger industries. I'm inspired by the example of, of Japan. If you think of large companies like Toyota, world-class organizations, that rely on an array of much smaller manufacturing industries to meet what they term JIT, just in time. When they want to produce a vehicle, they have to get all these different components made by hundreds, sometimes thousands of smaller businesses, and they deliver just in time, and that results in these magnificent Toyota vehicles. And so going forward, when we talk about um, you know, sustainable and resilient enterprises, we need to actually broad, broaden it and, and realize that these SMEs can and in fact should be the backbone of our economy. And not only create jobs for the individuals running those SMEs, but they can contribute to this much broader economic development that we hope for our city and our nation. But of course, as you know better than I do, SMEs face unique challenges. Um, they don't have the economies of scale that bigger businesses have. They don't have access to capital. Often when they go to banks, they, they don't have the collateral that they need to expand their, their businesses. And that is where workshops like this are critically important. And this interaction between the ILO and the ministry and the city is so important so that we can develop workout strategies to 
provide those resources, provide that back, backup that, that SMEs need um, to, to overcome these challenges. And so my, my hope for this training workshop, I understand it's designed to help SMEs overcome these challenges, to make them resilient, to make them more innovative. And so I hope that by the end of these five days, the SMEs who are here and also our own uh, town council employees will, will learn these things regarding the broader business ecosystem, uh, perhaps hazard identification and impact scenarios, and then the treatment of risk. And so um, my hope is come Friday, that the SMEs here are going to come away feeling empowered so that you can not only sustain your businesses, but expand them. And then also be given the vision for how your businesses can integrate with the much bigger businesses, the formal businesses and industries that we hope we can revive in this uh, city. I understand that we have two uh, principal trainers, Mr. Uh, Inketa Lamini, is that right? Yes. Mr. Lamini, and Mr. Shelton Sutori. Yes. Sorry, I really acknowledged you, sir. Um, who um, will be taking us through through this course? And uh, thank you for your participation here. So let me end by encouraging you to focus intensely on this week. See it as. Uh, an event that can be completely transforming, uh, a transforming experience in your life and in your own businesses. And just in conclusion, on behalf of the city, um, I want to thank you all for, for being here. And I look forward to hearing at the end of this week uh, whether you've got new insights and in particular what I can do as mayor to facilitate uh, SMEs. I've said to our staff, we met all the senior, you weren't there Mr. Sazido on Friday. I met our staff, uh, our senior management, and I said that our role as senior management in this city is to facilitate, not to obstruct. We have to look for ways in which we can help all businesses and in particular SMEs so that we can sustain them and grow their businesses and then ultimately our city, our city generally will benefit. So good luck and uh, uh, all the very best.